Good afternoon. We're going to talk about the proper opening and closing of the Cirrus Generation 6 or 7 doors. Lately, we've been having to repair a lot of aircraft that have had damage to the doors because pilots are either slamming them excessively hard or not properly latching them. The, the mechanisms that have been damaged are, have been the internal latches, uh, and in some cases, the pilots have pushed so hard on the door handle, they bent a stainless steel handle. So we're just gonna talk how to properly open and close the Gen 6 and 7 doors, because there's a lot of perceptions that we have to slam the Sierra's door, which in some cases was accurate from the older generation aircraft. So when you'd like to open up the door, Right, you approach your aircraft, right? You grab your silver or black handle, right? Pull the handle out, rotate it up, and we wanna make sure that we just don't let it slam and bounce. So if anything, guide it up, right? As the shocks bring it to the open position. To close the door, all we need to do is simply close it. And you're gonna hear the latches make that initial connection then take your hand, take the handle, pull it out, and rotate down until you hear a gentle click. If the door closed uh, um, well enough and the latches actually went to their over center and you pull the handle out and there is no click, that's an indication that it is fully latched. You just wanna make sure every time you close all right, the door that you do this step because if it's not fully engaged and it rains, you might find yourself entering an aircraft with a wet seat. After you've entered the Cirrus aircraft, many Cirrus pilots close their door before they start the engine. My personal technique is I leave my doors open during the start process with the exception of when it's raining, when it's bone chilling cold, or it's snowing, or there's visible moisture or water that's you know beating on top of the aircraft so I don't get covered in water when, when the engine starts. So regardless of when you choose to close your door, with a Gen 6 and Gen 7 door, all we have to do is just, all right, close the door to where your latches make contact with the studs and then start pushing the locking lever down. You'll feel some resistance. And then just with a, a nice continuous push, right, you will feel a little resistance and that continuous push will go through the resistance. And then you heard right, the, the click, and that is the indication that the door latches have locked and they they are in their over center lock position. Technique, I place my elbow on the armrest, my shoulder against the door, and I give a gentle push on the door to make sure the door is secure. Um, even with the Gen 6 and Gen 7 doors, sometimes the latching, latching mechanisms might not fully engage, and if you feel the door move, just open the door, Right, make contact with the latches on the studs, pressure until you hear the click and your door is locked. We don't have to slam these doors, right? Slamming them, a lot of times I'll see new Cirrus pilots grab the handles and slam them such that the door hits so hard it bounces back some and the, the latches don't properly engage. Um, to open the door, just, just like when we were outside, raise the handle, and then allow it to go to the full raise position. Recommend don't let it bounce up, all right, because that puts wear and tear on the attach points um, of the actual struts. All right, we've, uh, a couple times we've had to actually replace uh, the strut because it got bent, all right, as it was snapping open. Bonus footage. So moving backwards in time, now let's talk about opening the Gen 3 and Gen 5 SR22 door. You notice that we don't have that large handle, it's just a push button latch. So what it really takes to open this door is basically some firm pressure until you hear the click and the door releases. And then the door springs up just like the Gen 6 and Gen 7. To close it, I like putting my hands on the black circle so I'm not pushing on the paint. And then just, it doesn't have to be slammed, but a nice firm positive closing. And sometimes the latch doesn't latch just like we saw on the Gen 6. Just gentle pressure at the bottom of the door till you hear the click. And now your door is 
smoothly closed. The generation three and five doors had a reputation of popping in flight. And the good news is, is that all the Cirrus doors, if the latches ever release in flight, the door is not going to come open. A little bit of the door gets sucked out by the airflow. So your air conditioning and cool air or warm air during the wintertime gets sucked out of the cockpit. But it's not like uh, watching a movie where a window breaks on an airplane and everyone's getting sucked out out of the hole. Because of those latches popping, people started developing a technique of slamming the doors very, very, very hard. Because a lot of times these doors were temperamental to get them to, to latch properly. When you're closing the Gen 3 and the Gen 5 door, one of the things you want to avoid is pulling your hand kind of straight towards you. You really want to think about following the curve of the handle as the handle is attached to the door. So notice that curve through space. So we want our hand to curve. So as, a, as your, the door is getting towards the bottom part of the closing motion, all right, just a nice smooth, positive, all right, uh, continuous movement. And that should be enough momentum to latch both of the latches. All right, we don't have an inside latch mechanism to help us do the final locking uh, of the door mechanism. So it's the actual momentum of the door that causes the latch to go into the lock, the lock position. So when we close them, again, hand in a curved motion. All right, with a nice positive closing, and you're gonna see as I put my elbow in the armrest and my shoulder in the door, just like I did in the six, I'm pushing on the door and there's no movement. To open the door, we lift up on the black handle. All right, you'll hear the click of the latches and my door swings open just, just like the six and the seven. So again, if the door doesn't close completely, when you push on the door, see how the door is moving right now? That's an indication that you just wanna release your door a little bit and just give it all right, a closing width of a positive firm motion and now your door's latched. Last but not least, if you have a passenger that's having a challenge um, closing the door, one, you can reach across the cockpit and try and close the door for them, or just get out of the aircraft, close the door from the outside from them. That way you as the pilot in command know the door latches are secure, and then get, in, get back on board your aircraft and close your door as we've just discussed.